Now, keep in mind that you see the crenation here. So this sat a little while uh -huh. before I, I, I got my thing. So some of this crenation is also artifact. Hmm. Yeah, I see the blue, and then I see that bright magenta color there. And then same thing here. I see magenta and then blue around it. I don't, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, I, well, I don't know. What is this? This is uh, Plasmodium bivax. Oh, wow. And so this is the gametocyte. Okay. And that's the ring form. Oh, the ring. Oh, and okay. Right, yeah. So I, the but ring you're saying is it's a little... crenated because it sat for uh, a little okay. bit. Uh, it's one of those, like, wow, we have malaria and beggars can't quite be choosers uh, yeah. type of a deal. But it's it's pretty... Plasmodium bivax. So, so malaria, huh? Right. I often don't get to see the gametocyte. So that, that's not a platelet. That's a gametocyte. Yeah, that's why I was like, that That doesn't ring any bells for me. Yeah. And now that you say that, that the ring I know sense. this is Vivax because the PCR came back as Vivax. I also knew the travel history, and it was 95% Vivax. In the and, region that they went to. Right. Uh, but I will say that your clinicians do not really care. What they care about is, is this falciparum? So Because um, that's the really bad one, right? right. The bad malaria. And this is not something really, as a hematopathologist, you should be like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you probably should get your microbiologist involved um, with that. But important to recognize it on a smear, right? Oh, and know yeah. when to... Because they may or may not have sent for, for parasite analysis. So, like, please send this patient for a parasite analysis the next time they're febrile. Yeah. Especially when they're febrile. Because it's only if you would have thought, oh, maybe they have malaria. But if you don't know, if they didn't tell right. you the travel history, if the patient didn't tell you, you know, it's possible they might be clinically, it might not be obvious, right? Right. Or if you know you get peripheral smears from other places and you have no history. Oh, yeah, yeah true. You just, you just don't know. But this gametocyte is not the falciparum gametocyte. Okay. And those, yeah, so I've seen those before, like little horseshoes and rings. Yes. And there's more up there, right? Yeah, so this is like the headphone form. Oh, it's or got, headphones, yeah. It's mm -hmm. got the two nuclei. I, I don't know if that's an official term. I like it, though. It works. And then a ring form. And you'll note that there are multiple ring forms in one red blood cell uh -huh. there. And then look at the difference in that gametocyte. Oh, yeah. I and mean, it's a little bit folded, but you can still see... But it's see like a, it. almost a, a sickle-shaped gametocyte. Like, it's a long kind of oval with a slightly pointy ends. So totally different than that last one, right, which is a totally round. Is this the falciparum? This is the falciparum. Okay. And so uh, the food analogy here is banana-shaped. Oh, banana. That would... Yes, I and can see. It's a banana is, that's folded on yeah. itself. And there's the malarial pigment, which is oh. basically hemoglobin breakdown. Interesting. 